Threshold Pharmaceuticals, a biotechnology company, has announced data from two ongoing Phase 1-2 trials evaluating TH302, an investigational hypoxia-targeted drug, in patients that include those with renal cell carcinoma. Alexander Starodub, MD, PhD, medical oncologist at Indiana University Health Goshen Center for Cancer Care and principal investigator of the study said, and I quote, though the data are limited, we're encouraged to see responses even in patients who would receive prior anti-angiogenic therapy. Argos Therapeutics, a biopharmaceutical company focused on development and commercialization of fully personalized immunotherapies for the treatment of cancer and infectious diseases, has announced a clinical study for AGS-003, expanding to additional top cancer centers in the U.S., Canada, and soon expanding to Europe and Israel. To date, more than 50 sites have been activated, more than 30 subjects have been enrolled in North America alone. An objective of the study is to determine and extend overall survival in newly diagnosed unfavorable risk metastatic renal cell carcinoma patients. Bionomics Limited has completed enrollment into a randomized phase 2 clinical trial testing the combination of BNC105 plus Affinitor to treat patients with advanced renal cell carcinoma. This is the first and only randomized trial to test the combination of an mTOR inhibitor with a vascular disrupting agent in renal cancer. Researchers at Dartmouth-Hitchcock Norris Cotton Cancer Center presented a poster on a phase one clinical trial of nivolumab, a PD-1 receptor blocking antibody being used in combination with other drugs in patients with metastatic renal cell carcinoma at the ASCO annual meeting held recently in Chicago. To learn more about these and other projects, Click the hyperlink that will enable you to determine your eligibility to participate in cutting-edge research. Wishing you good health, I'm Bill Brough.